at home, my name is Melody Lindorf, and this is Brianne Oslin. Today we're going to be making enchiladas, and so the first thing that we need to do is prepare the chicken. So you need to take a knife and make it split along the sides, so that way you can get your enchiladas out. Next, we're going to take it over to the sink, and we're going to wash the chicken and then put it into the pan that Brianne is going to get out for me. Try to pull as much fat off of it you possibly can. Grant, can you bring that over here, please? All right, perfect. So we're going to put this one in. We're going to go ahead and make all of these since we're going to be preparing for a big group today. The chicken all wash and put in the pan. And to um, bake it, we are going to put some water into this pan and then put it onto the stove. Just a little bit of water for it to start to boil so that way it cooks all the way through. We're going to put the top on the pan so that way we can make sure that it gets nice and evenly through. Just like this. Alright, so we turn the um, stove to the medium, and so then after that you're going to want to wash your hands so that way you don't mix the raw ingredients and have any things brought around. So as Melody's finishing the chicken, I'm going to cut the onion just to add a little extra flavor into the meal. So make sure you peel off the outsides. Onions to a lot of meals just to help it with a lot of flavor. So that's what we're doing here. So now we're going to put all the onions and the rest of the ingredients into this bowl to mix it up so we can make the rest of this process a lot easier. So, as you can see, we've brought the water to a boil and the bottom of the chicken is starting to whiten. We are going to flip the chicken now so that way the other side can whiten and it can get evenly um, cooked all the way through. Alright, so we're going to check on our chicken and make sure that it's all done. So, we're going to take off the lid and then make a couple of slices in the chicken. And it looks like it's about right. If there's still some pinkness in the center, it also needs to cook some more. So, I'm going to check one more. You got to slice in the thickest part of the meat to make sure that it's gotten done all the way through. It looks like we're finally golden on the um, chicken and everything's done all the way through. So, I'm going to take them out and place them on this plate and then we're going to cut off most of the fat over on the next side of the kitchen. Flip it we're going to move over to the next side of the kitchen, and then we're going to take one chicken breast at a time and cut it into little pieces. Make sure to cut off as much of the fat as you can. Obviously, there's little parts like this that aren't very good um, to eat. Go ahead and put those on the corner of your cutting board, and then after each chicken breast, you'll cut, you'll um, put that part into the trash can. Looks like I got most of the fat and the gross parts off. I'm going to cut them into little pieces to put into the enchiladas. As you can see, the chicken is all the way warm, and so it pretty much um, falls apart as you go. And so then it becomes more like shredded chicken. We're going to put the chicken into the bowl where we put the where I had Brianne put the onions earlier so that way it becomes a nice easy process to put it into the casserole dish. All right, now we're going to um, put this into the bowl and then I'm going to cut up the rest of them so that way we can get this underway. All right, welcome back. We're going to add the last of our chicken to our bowl with easy mixing. Then we're going to open up our olives and make sure that we um, add the olives into the enchiladas because that's one of the main vegetables that's in there along with the onions. The first thing that we're going to do when we do the olives is dump out all of the juice into the sink because that part will just make it soggy and make our enchiladas really gross. And so the best way to do this is really just to add the whole onions. There's not a whole lot of chopping that needs to go in, so we're just going to add them all right on top. And because we're making a big dish for a lot of people, we're going to um, add two cans. Most of the time we'd only add one, but we're going to make one big casserole enchilada dish. So again, like I said, we're going to add the, or pour out all of the juices that are in there and then add this last can.
cheese in here but it takes a lot of cheese to make this dish absolutely delicious all right so that looks like about the right amount that you'd put on this layer we're gonna add another layer of tortillas and the mix on top of that what I'm gonna go ahead and do is add the cheese to the top like this and then the way that my mom always did it was to add the enchilada sauce on top of that so just pour a little bit as you go really doesn't need to be a whole lot and then you can mix it around a little bit with the cheese to make sure that the whole thing gets really really with or really saturated with the enchilada sauce so now we're going to go ahead and make the next layer it's exactly the same thing you add the tortillas in you make sure, I'm gonna add some more enchilada sauce just because I don't want them to be any, to be bare. All right, we're back. As you can see, I'm very messy, but I'm gonna add the last thing of tortillas to the top of this. This will be our second layer. We're gonna add all of the rest of the enchilada mix on top of that. So that way it's pretty much piled up to the brim of the casserole dish. Pretty much just dump it all on there, but make sure that you spread it evenly with th through so that way it cooks evenly as well. All right, so the last part of this um, is to add almost the whole rest of the cheese. It takes a lot of cheese, like I said, to make this a really great dish. There's a lot of cheese. And then add the last of your enchilada sauce to the top of that. And then I'm going to open up one more can of enchilada sauce just because that wasn't quite enough to make sure that the whole thing gets that really Mexican taste. <laughs> And because we're not going to be dipping any more tortillas, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to put it inside of that bowl. I'm just going to layer the whole top like this, and then, like I said, you mix it around a little bit so that way you make sure that all of the cheese got nice and covered with the enchilada sauce. I'm going to wash my hands before I put this into the oven. All right, so I just finished washing my hands. I'm going to go ahead and put the enchiladas into the oven for about 30 minutes. I'm going to have Brienne open up the oven for me just to make sure that I don't burn myself. As you can see, you put the enchiladas in there and then set the timer for about 30 minutes. I'm going to set it at 25 just to make sure that it doesn't burn. 
taking the enchiladas out and we're going to cut them up into portion sizes for all of the people that we're going to be serving today. One of the best things that goes with enchiladas is actually um, sour cream. And so you can just put that right on top. I'm going to cut them into 12 pieces. Get a room. Get a room. I went there, Mom. I went there. <laughs> there you go. Now we're all done. 